Hello, everybody. Oh, Jesus Christ, am I right? Not wearing my glasses because when I shoot videos at night, um, because of all the lights, when I have my glasses on, it's just like reflection of the screen, all like any light and then the light behind me here. It just, it's crazy. Not that any of you give two shits about why I don't have glasses on, but I was just letting you know. Something um, totally peculiar has happened tonight and I wanted to share it with you guys. And I wanna know if any of you guys have had anything like this happen. So here I was just kind of killing time before I start writing. I, I, I'm only a couple in right now. And so I was like, oh, let me check YouTube and like see what's on there and shit. And I found um, an R. Crumb interview. And I'm like, oh, I'll watch that. That's fun. And then there was another R. Crumb interview. I don't even fucking understand what the fuck I was watching. I could barely understand what the fuck they were saying. So I watched these fucking three R. Crumb things. And then when I go back to the homepage, this suggested video is um, this woman reviewing Ham on Rye by Bukowski. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And I'm like, oh, it was three years ago. Huh, I wonder what she has to say. Because like I've said to a lot of you before, most women who hate Bukowski hate Bukowski because they've been told as a woman they're supposed to hate Bukowski. But most women I know who have actually read Bukowski actually really like Bukowski. So I was curious to see um, what this woman thought. And she fucking loved it. And she's like, I haven't read a book like this since Catcher on the Rye. Or Catcher in the Rye when I wanted to just like read it over and over again. And... Um, she had a lot of really cool insights about the book and, um, like, uh, just little things that have always struck me, um, that I don't really hear people talk about, especially in Ham on Rye, where, um, he sees, like, other boys like wanting to hurt animals and how that like drives them absolutely crazy at the injustice of it all. And, um, what he does to try to either stop those things or interfere in those things or just get away from those things. That was, um, always something that endeared me to him as well. But whatever. So I'm like, oh, that was interesting. And I'm like, again, three years ago. Wow, that's crazy, right? And then I was about to, like, go, um, like, let me look at what else this woman has done. I think I subscribed to her. Um, I can't remember what these videos were because I did not know I was going to be making a video about this right now. So, um Hopefully, I will go back into my history and find all of these videos and put them in here. So then, and I said all these videos, so I already fucking, like, gave away the fucking big secret and buried the lead and all this other shit. Metaphor, metaphor, mixed, mixed. So then I go back to my homepage, and there's some other person who has reviewed Ham on Rye three years ago. And I'm like, oh, that's interesting. And so I... <laughs> Watch that. And it was also, that was a five-star review from some dude. Then I was looking at um, his thing. Because the first video I watched, this woman said, um, there's a great review of this book by so-and-so. This guy said, or in the description, he's like, oh, and there's also a great review of this book by blah, 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 blah here and I'm like what happened three years ago that everyone started talking about fucking ham on rye and then I go back to the homepage and sure as shit there's another video three years ago some motherfucker talking about ham on rye and um <clears throat> this was the dude um 
Wait, was that it? Yeah. The guy, I can't remember his name, but like, he smokes cigarettes um, in his videos and like has like alcohol and shit. Very fucking macho kind of dude. And it wasn't me. I know that's what you guys were thinking. I thought you guys were thinking I was being clever there. No, it's not me. It's some other fucking dude. But anyway, so this whole thing like really tripped me out. And I was like, I, like this whole time I've been racking my brain. I'm like, was it fucking COVID? What was it? And then I just realized right now as I'm talking that three years ago was the 100 year anniversary of Bukowski. So at the beginning of the year, the publisher, or at least Echo, was really pushing the big um, centennial of Bukowski. And they had the little yellow stickers with his drawing that said 100. And they were going to put out Bukowski 100. I'm just assuming all of the uproar with um, the election and... Um, like the George Floyd BLM thing was um, right like two or three months before the actual centennial was going to be. And I think that happened the same month the actual Bukowski 100 was supposed to come out and they postponed it. And then by um, August or September, it was just like wiped off the thing completely. Um, I'm just now remembering all of these things. So there you go. Um, Mystery Solved by fucking Matt Kuhl Walro. And uh, everything's fine now. I really thought this was going to be a much more like interesting mystery that we were all going to solve together. But um, I managed to fuck that up too. So I apologize, everybody. Um, you could go on about your day now and not worry about this, like, weird, crazy conspiracy that happened. It's all sorted. Everything's fine. Um, nothing else to see here. Shit, I guess I'll plug something. I have one more copy of Abnormal Brain left. Pick it up while you can. And maybe I'll do this right now. Um, Bukowski Book Club is doing war all the time this month. And, um... I'll be putting up the first video for the public feed where we talk about like the um, stuff about how this book was put together, what the events were around it, um, the dedications and the acknowledgments and all that jazz. And then we will be doing the actual reading of the book um, as a group on the members bit. And, um, and I'm still trying to figure out um, how to gift those memberships that YouTube says I have the ability to just hand out like five memberships at a time, which I still have not been able to figure out. But I'm, I'm getting to it. I'm getting to it, everybody. So I'll be doing that. So join the Anarchy Crew. Type hard, everybody. And if you are in the L.A. area on December 7th, you can come to the release party or launch party of my new chat book called fuck you okay so if you are going to be in the area let me know and you can come there's only going to be 20 people and that's shit okay so again type hard kisses and i will talk to you all later I just want to give quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.